What's going on guys, here we're here, back with another brand new video. Today is an exciting day. We are talking about our 14 karat gold jewelry haul. If you're looking for any kind of earrings that will make your ears itch, irritate them, or hurt your ears, or you're looking for inspiration on how to really style your ears and create something amazing and unique for yourself, you're watching the right video. In this video, what we're gonna cover is benefits of using 14 karat gold jewelry, showcasing different pieces of our jewelry for your ears, showing you how to use each jewelry. Now the benefits of using 14 karat gold jewelry is simple. It's gold, baby, it is gold. You can never go wrong with gold. Another cool benefit for gold is it's safe for most people that won't give it cause irritation, allergic reactions or anything like that. There is only a very small percentage of people that do so much experience issues with gold, but majority of people are definitely okay and it's definitely safe for them to wear, especially when moving higher in the carriage as like 14, moving up to 18 carat as well too. Our collection for today is gonna be all in 14 karat gold. Let's get started with our collection. Our first section of jewelry that I want to showcase for you guys, which is our most versatile collection, where you can use along all the earlobes, is going to be our pushback section. Now, this pushback section is our jewelry pieces. Very easily can either click in and they click back together or they'll screw in and out. It's super easy. Our first piece is the most classic and I would say is the most versatile piece, featuring a four prong setting, means that four prongs, the setting holding the diamond stone, which will allow a lot more light. So, this piece definitely does shine a line light to hit that stone and reflect back out to you with some bling bling. We got multiple different options for stones, small, medium, and large. This is a great piece to use on your lobes if you want like a simple earring type look. Definitely on the lobes, you can do big, medium, small. Also, you use a smaller piece on your tragies, I mean, on your helix, anywhere along this area. Absolutely versatile and is the most simplistic, minimalistic piece. Let's move on with a little bit more fun. We got our star pushback featuring a much more smaller star stone and featuring like multiple small gems. This is such a cute piece if you like stuff like very spacey themes, astrological themes. Again, you can also use it for the lobes, use it for the conch. Also, again, for the helix or the flat and even for the tragies. I mean, the results are endless for this one. Continuing with our space theme, we got our first featuring crescent moon. This is our small moon this one features a smaller daintier stones and it's absolutely cute this one's a perfect piece for a tragus look at how beautiful that is or your helix or even your conch if you're looking for a minimalistic look and a more daintier look this will be the perfect piece some girls want a little bit of extra bling in there that's why you give them we call it the big moon because you can use it for your ear up take all that shine it has two rolls of gems in there really gets that shine in there this one would be a great piece to use for your tragus it's too bulky i would say but would be a great piece for that conch and heel Helix to really fill that area in. Flat as well too. Moving on, we got ourselves the Marquee Collection. With the Marquees, it's featuring the Marquee Cut Stone, which gives it that kind of like that leaf teardrop kind of shape. This is our three petal Marquee. It's a more smaller, daintier stone. This is a more aesthetic piece that you can use for your tragus, your helix, and also your conch, as well as your lobes. So you can really utilize the lobes, especially back that one, two, three. And now you're like, hey, I love that piece. It's kind of on the smaller side. You have something that's a little bit like a hair bigger. For that one, we have our four petal Crystal Marquee. It features four, like about 1.5 millimeters crystal gems really small cute dainty gems will be an absolutely gorgeous piece on the tragus if you're like kind of position it where it aligns along with it just enough shine to really fill that area up not too big not too small and you can also use it for the lobes as well too our four crystal marquees made very well all these pieces are handmade 14 karat gold you got nothing to worry about i think for the next piece i want to choose this is our butterfly piece it has four crystal stones featuring the butterfly very dainty very small great piece for like an upper helix or you can also use it on the con i would recommend this for this area it's on the wider side because it's a butterfly again this will, i think will be great if you love cute stuff or even it could be good if you want to get this for like your daughter or like your niece really love this piece as well too but one of the pieces i do really love is the flower diamonds are the girl's best friends and so are roses we got our beautiful flower here featuring six crystals with accompanying opal stone in the middle we have the same version of this jewelry in full crystals but this is so popular that that version is completely sold out by the time you guys are watching this video that should be back in stock but this is like the secondary alternative version with the opal stone in the middle but still a very beautiful piece you can also work with if you're styling the ear you can use it on your earlobes on your conch and even on your helix even you can put that thing on your triggers if you have enough space next up we are moving we talk about the single flower now we got something that's beautiful is our flower cluster if you want some bling in your life check this baby out right here featuring two opposing flowers and the center flower with all those out there i think there's about 20 crystals on this really brings it all together with a lot of shine especially in the conch area it really fills in all that surface area to really bring in the look right there it's like a nice statement piece you also use it as an earlobe if you want as well too 
And my personal favorite is really utilizing the curvature of that helix and really making this jewelry flow in there. It might look big, but it's actually very flat. It just covers a lot more surface area, a lot of shine, absolutely beautiful. We got ourselves another color. This one featuring more daintier, smaller stones. And instead of that flat bezel setting, like that flat stone, this is featuring a prong stone, which kind of like holds the gem in place like this, which allows more light to hit the diamond and it allows it more to shine. For this specific jewelry, you kind of twist it on and off, so you kind of have to like twist it. So it's like a screw mechanism, which kind of locks into place. Super secure, slightly different from the pushback ones, but still screws in and off. You can use for your lobes. My favorite to use is in the conch. It's just a right amount of bling. Even, hell, even up here, really feeling that curvature of the ear. If you're lucky, and in some cases when we do work with our clients, we have styled the ears where you put this right on the tragus, and it really fills the area up really nicely. It just depends on the anatomy of your tragus. This is our Alliance CZ stone, kind of like the opposite of a cluster. Instead of it being curved, we have like a aligned version, hence the name aligned. I love this piece, especially when we get to our styling portion of the video, where you can use this piece on your lobe here. You can put like a small stone and something else here, like a flower. You can start really utilizing the piece together. So I like it on this horizontal area of the ear. The mid helix, the conch, and the tragus. Imagine putting three of them together, and then one down here. Just fill it all up. I don't care, it looks nice. Last but not least, we got a little bit of electricity going on, got a little spark going on in me, is our Thunderbolt. This one also, again, it's a screw feature like the cluster. It screws in and off and locks into place. This one is my favorite to use on the Tragus. A little bit of the edgier vibes featuring four crystal stones on this guy. So it's the right amount of edge with the right amount of shine. Conch as well, helix, mid helix. Hey, if you're lucky enough, you can also use it as your forward helix as well too. And of course, also on your lobes. That is concluding for our pushback or flatback options. Now we're moving on to the earlobes, which are huggy earrings. These are absolutely popular. You've seen on all your favorite celebrities, all your favorite influencers. The reason I call them huggy is it hugs your ear. It opens by just pulling it apart, kind of snaps it into place. And if you can hear it, clicks into place. You can only use this for one area of the ear. Technically two, but usually one is literally down there. You can do one, two, three. Some people use it for the helix. It is thin enough to use it up there too, but just keep it classy and use it down here. So if you're looking for something plain, minimalistic, this Huggy is the best option to go. It's secure, it's lightweight, it's not too bulky. We got Huggies again, but this time with featuring a dangle charm. I like this one because it reminds me a little bit of, if you want me a little bit edgy. We got a triangle drop featuring four crystal stones on that Huggy, man. I'm actually considering getting my ear spears specifically to wear this piece, by the Way. I absolutely love it. This one with the lining bolt. You could do like a basic huggy and this one right next to it. I mean, you could start really working with this too, but I definitely love that charm and the dangles. Super dainty and lightweight and has like the perfect amount of shine. So when you're walking, it's like quick shine. I love it. Next piece is another favorite of mine. Oh, actually, all of these are my favorite. This is our teardrop huggy. This one's featuring gems all along the front side and as well as a pendant drop right over here to really give it like a nice, sophisticated, classy with that teardrop gem. Super classic, I absolutely love, love this ear. Especially when we start decking at the one, two, three. This would be a great statement piece to put right in the middle. It's not too big, it's a very small piece and it's very, very dainty. I know Johnny loves using one of these pieces when he definitely works and styles with the ear as well too. Those are our huggy options. Now we're moving into our hinge jewelry, which for that one, we have two style of hinges. Our first one is gonna be our front facing hinge, which means the diamond faces you, or we have the side facing one where the diamond faces away from you. Again, for this one, kind of like the huggies, you just kind of pull it and pops up like a little door and you click it back in. And this one is our front facing 14 karat gold crystal hinge ring. And this is my favorite piece to use right there on the Dave piercing to really fill that area up and give it that complete shine. It's not too out there. So if you're worried, I love my Dave piercing. I want some bling in there. I don't want too much attention to the area. I work, I do this, I do that. This gem features the same size of the ring. So it kind of embedded into the ring with the prong settings. So it gives it a nice shine with no troubles. For that jewelry, you can't really use it for the lobes because it won't really utilize the jewelry to the best because it's gonna face away from you. So if, if I put the gem here, the gem's gonna face that way rather than like the Huggies, which the gem faces you. Next up we got is our, our hoops or our rings. These ones are super easy to use. All you gotta do is hold the ring and bend them and bend them back. 14 karat gold or gold in general is a very soft metal. It's easily manufactured and bendable. So you can really work with the metal and really bend it back and forth easily, whether you're installing on your nostril, your ears. My personal favorite, just the classic simple hoop. Some people call it a seamless hoop. Some people call it hoop. Some people call this an infinity ring, a seamless hoop. If you don't like the ugly look, you use this guy. If you want a hoop on your tragus, you put that guy right there. Or again, the more classier version is putting it on the helix anywhere right over here. Again, you can also use this on your nostril as well too. Very versatile piece. You can use it anywhere. We got something, the same style of jewelry, but now if you we want a little bit of edge to it with like a, a ball onto there, this is our 14 karat fixed bead ring. We call this fixed bead ring because when you twist the ring, the bead is fixed onto the ring. So it's not a captive where the bead hops off. This is made with the ring stuck onto it. So the only way the 
the beat comes off is if you break it off. This one's cool if you like that ball or captive look. Again, on your tragus, forward helix, helix, if you want to start laying it and decking it out, or if you want to do like a nice look on your lobes, just drop it in like that. Very simple, very awesome. We have the same thing in white gold and as well with opal, which you guys will see in a different video. Today we're focusing on more simple stones and crystals instead of opals and other stones. This is our crystal line hoop. This is an absolute favorite. Again, you can also use this on your lobes, but generally for this one, I would love to use this and I recommend using this on your helix. So all around this area, all the way down. If you have multiple piercings and you want to just really deck it out with using all these hoops, you can mix up with all the hoops of these crystals or even the simple hoops and really fill that up all the way. Super, super popular for the helix and as well as the nostril. Now we have this piece, which is internally threaded, which means the top piece does screw off and in. It looks like a mini belly ring because it's a curved jewelry featuring a green five millimeter gem. This one is made specifically for your rook piercing, which is right on top of the date. So it goes right over there. Beautiful stones that really shine, especially in that casket in the bottom and the prong setting on top, really brings the whole look together and really gives it a nice style. So that is all our 14 karat gold collection where it's our pushbacks, our hinge rings, our huggies, and our seamless or fixed bead rings. If you want to continue more videos, click right over here and or click right over here for some more great videos. We've got a lot of beautiful options in our jewelry, styling tips and advice, we've got educational content, aftercare tips, and many, many more on our channel. Click right over here and we'll see you on the latest and next video. If any of these jewelries are in the description section below, go and check it out. But we'll catch you guys on the next video. Click anywhere right over here.